Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. Normally when you pass the cursor over an object, uh, BricsCAD automatically highlights it. But a feature that's new in the last couple of releases is called the Quad Cursor. Normally the Quad Cursor is turned on by default, and if not, well, you can turn it on this way. Go down to the status bar. The very last item is called quad. Click on it, and now it's turned on. See what changes when I now pause over an entity. Okay, now we get this little extra box there. Well, that's the start of the quad cursor. If I were to uh, choose it, we could now move the line because that little icon is for the move command. Watch what happens when I move the cursor into that box. It expands, and you can see additional commands. In addition to move, there's copy, rotate, erase, and add selected. There's a blue arrow there. When you t move the cursor over that, it opens up to a custom section with additional commands. And then there's a bunch of direct modeling commands because you could convert this line into uh, 3D objects, uh, sheet metal commands, 2D, a bunch of 2D editing commands, dimensioning, you could dimension it. Let's give that a go. I'll click here and you can see how the dimension is automatically applied. Customizing the quad cursor is a somewhat more complex than other aspects of BricsCAD because there's three different places where it can be customized. Fortunately, all three of them can be accessed through the quad cursor itself. So there's the quad cursor. Now I'm going to right click and there's the three different locations. First of all, there's the settings dialog box, which allows you to customize the way the quad cursor reacts. Next, there is the quad group order, which brings up the workspaces tab of the customize dialog box. And finally, there's the custom quad groups item, which also brings up the customize dialog box, but this time the quad tab. Now you can see here, there's the different parts of the quad cursor icons that you've probably seen before. This first group is displayed for all entities, and then for these particular entities, text, mtext, and so on, these additional commands are also shown. To show you how to customize the quad cursor, I'm going to create a command that returns the area of a rectangle. And I've drawn here a rectangle out of a polyline to show you how this works. So let's uh, get into the quad cursor, right click, and custom quad groups. Okay, so first thing we have to do is create a new group that is specific to the polyline entities. I'm going to right click custom, append quad item group, and then uh, we want to operate on a specific entity. So we'll choose the entity type. It's a long list. But we'll go through to we get to LW polyline because that's the official name for polylines. That's short for lightweight polyline. Okay, and we'll give it a name, P line area. Click OK. We're going to create a new tool and it's going to be from the modify toolbox. We'll call it uh, P line area. Don't care about the help. The command will consist of these uh, meta characters and command names. So we have a control C, control C to cancel previous commands, underscore to internationalize the command. The command itself is area. Semicolon is like a enter key. We're going to be finding the area of an entity. So we type E, another semicolon, and then a special hidden meta character, control S, which selects the entity currently highlighted by the quad cursor. Finally, we have to include an image, otherwise this is simply isn't going to be found. So we'll scroll through the list here for find one for area. And there we go. Okay, so we've got what we need. Click OK. Click OK a second time to close it. Let's test it out. So there's the quad cursor. We go down into the custom section. There it is there. And in the blink of an eye, see the area and perimeter of the polyline. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. 
Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.